Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Thrill six of all ages. Coast the channel here. Doncaster born, but both for theme parks. And welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Where today we're going to be looking at Merlin Entertainment's official press release to share all the details, or the first details at least, about the opening of a brand new Legoland Resort opening in Shenzhen in the near future. Now before we get started with the press release details, please like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe if you are new around here, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video, check out the social media links in the description down below and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas and for now guys let's have a look at the Milan Entertainment press release from Legoland Shenzhen on the opening of the resort so the link to the press release will be in the description down below and it reads as follows. Melon Entertainment, a global leader in location-based entertainment, today announces the construction of the world's largest Legoland resort in Shenzhen has begun. Representatives from the Shenzhen Municipal People's Government, Daping New Dir District, Melon Entertainment Limited, the Lego Group and Hazen's Holding attended a launch ceremony which featured the arrival of on-site of 20,000 brightly coloured Lego bricks. Located on the Dapeng Peninsula on the eastern edge of Shenzhen, the Legoland Shenzhen Resort will be the first international IP-based family entertainment theme park resort in the Greater Bay Area, covering approximately 580,000 square meters and exclusively operated by Millen Entertainment, with Hazen's Holdings as its local partner. The total project investment is expected to be over $1.08 billion, which is 7 billion RMB, and the park is due to open in 2020. Merlin Copy currently operates 13 midway attractions in China, including four Legoland Discovery Centers, five Madame Two Swords, Sea Life Centers, the Dungeons, Peppa Pig World of Play, and Little Big City in Beijing. We have three statements on the opening of the Legoland Shenzhen Resort in 2024. First of all, Nick Varney, the chief executive of Merlin Entertainment, says the construction of the world's largest Legoland Resort in Shenzhen marks a significant milestone for Merlin in China, reflecting the scale of opportunity in the country and our commitment to developing our business in China. This forms part of Merlin's broader strategy, alongside developing exciting attractions in partnership with some of the world's most popular brands. The Shenzhen Legoland Resort will be a must-see destination for millions of families looking to experience the magic of Lego in China. We've already had great success with our immersive Legoland attractions around the world and look forward to working with our partners to make the Shenzhen Resort a reality. The general manager of the Legoland Shenzhen Resort, Seafred Burst, said, while maintaining the authentic Legoland experience, there'll be innovative designs, new themed areas, rides, and immersive shows launched for the China market. The Legoland Shenzhen Resort will integrate the history, culture, and ecology of Shenzhen and China. The park will also be a smart park celebrating technological innovation, imagination, and creativity in Shenzhen. The resort will include a combination of indoor and outdoor play areas to account for the climate in Shenzhen, and Miniland, one of the core areas of all Legoland parks, will be indoors to create a large themed area with high-tech digital interactive experiences, while paying tribute to the beauty of Shenzhen and China through representative landmarks, cultural and everyday life scenes. In echoing local characteristics, we've also developed a live show exclusively for Chinese families and the resort will feature the world's largest Legoland theatre with more than 1,000 seats. Playful learning is a unique feature of all Legoland parks with educational interactive offerings such as creative robot workshops, the driving school and the rescue academy which will all feature at the Shenzhen Resort. Our final statement in this video comes from the executive chairman of the Lego Group. Jorgen van Kutstorp. The Legoland brand has emotionally bonded with Chinese families during the past decades and contributes to create the positive impact on the development of the Chinese society. With learning through play experiences, Kirkby and the Lego brand are excited to bring Legoland Resort to Shenzhen this time and we're looking forward to offering even more creative and imaginative experiences to Chinese families to inspire and develop the builders of tomorrow. You thought we were done with statements, we've got a bonus statement that's come 
just a short while ago from Juan Fua, chairman of Hazen's Holding. And he says Hazen's Holding began life in the Shenzhen Special Economic Zone, and after over 20 years, we've grown to a full-scale commercial property developer, with presence in industries such as cultural tourism and medical care. As the needs for family entertainment experience keeps growing, we're proud to be a key participant and pioneer in the market. We are honored to, co uh, to collaborate with the Daypeng District, Merlin Entertainment, and the Lego Group to build the first international IP-based theme park in the Greater Bay Area, establishing a one-stop destination for family entertainment. So it's clear to see that the Legoland Shenzhen Resort is going to be a massive breakthrough for Merlin Entertainment and its partners, and I can't wait to see this open in 2024. Let's have a look at my thoughts on the development. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is looking at the brand new Legoland Shenzhen Resort, the brand new part for 2024. Now, looking at concept arts and what we've seen, it seems like from the plans that there was obviously you've got the same dragon combo as you see at other Legoland parks, you've got the Dragon Coaster and the Dragon's Apprentice, but also it seems like some kind of junior B&M inverted coaster from the looks of the plans, and also an unknown launch coaster. So that should be interesting to see what they do with that, just like the Sichuan part, but overall, I would feel like Legoland is definitely doing a wonderful job here with this development. I'm personally a massive fan of this park and a massive fan of this development. It's the world's largest entertainment IP theme park destination in the Greater Bay Area. And I think breaking this record is very key for Merlin's uh, financial growth and also financial expansion as well and their worldwide global expansion as well. And I feel like they're really doing a cool job here with this Legoland Situan Park. So overall, I'm a massive fan of this. I I can't wait to see the rest of the rise of the attractions in this area. Like I said, it looks like a junior b and invert in there. It looks like an unknown launch coaster in there. The Dragon Coaster, the Dragon's Apprentice combo. You, know, you see it pretty much every Legoland theme park. In fact, every Legoland theme park. Um, the Driving School, the Rescue Academy, the Robot Workshop. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of other attractions that are going to be cookie cutted from other Legoland theme parks, but also we'll see some original attractions as well as that big indoor mini land and other fantastic themed areas surrounding the attractions. So all themed up really nicely, all coming together really well and fingers crossed it'll all be done and built by 2024. So there we go guys, that is going to be it for this video. Make sure you do like the video, comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this. What do you think about Legoland Shenzhen Resort? Comment down below. Click the subscribe button, click the notification bell to see never miss YouTube video. We're on the road to 2,600 subscribers and a total of million views by 2022. We're going to try and get to 3,000 subs by the end of 2021, going into 2022. So let's hope, fingers crossed, by the time we hit January, we'll hit 3,000 subscribers and a million views. Let's get there as soon as possible, guys. And for now, my name is Coach Shell, Keatley on the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Lego, fantastic day. Thank <laughs> you.